Jupiter Ascending is the latest fantasy film written and directed by the Wachowskis. For an original film, it's not very original. It's heavily influenced by other films such as Star Wars and Brazil. Instead of these films being inspiration, it feels like they're being ripped off. Even the creature designs reminded me of other films like Super Mario Brothers and even the likes of Paul. But the one thing that does excel in this film is the costume design, especially those designed for Mila Kunis. The stunning dresses pull you into this fantasy world. But as a fantasy film, the huge problem is the fact that there's no one to root for creating this disinterest in the characters completing their goal or quest. It's not ideal when the best character and performance is a cameo that lasts five minutes. All the characters have no personality or drive. You have Channing Tatum playing a character that Keanu Reeves would have played once upon a time. And for an actor who is so charismatic, playing such a bland character, the conflict is just too awkward to watch. It is Sean Bean who adds flavour to the film, though he does seem to be more northern in this film, surrounded by the two American leads, which kind of has you entertained for all the wrong reasons. I had convinced myself that the Wajowskis had purposely written dialogue for Bean just to accentuate the best accent in Hollywood. And then this seems like a ploy to distract you from the confusing amount of characters and the lack of plot structure. And sure, the CGI is great, creating these different worlds, but sometimes less is more. For the Wajowskis, it would seem more is more. And Eddie Redmayne seems to have taken on this motto of more is more with his performance of bad guy in desperate need of a strepsil and looking like he's going to cry any moment. Perhaps the look of despair is his worry of whether he's just halted his career just as it got started. The Wajowskis have been too ambitious for their own good with Jupiter Ascending. Concentrating far too much on the CGI, the plot and script script lacks creativity. This is the classic example of style over substance. So answer the question by leaving a comment in the box below. What is your favourite sci-fi fantasy film? If you liked this video please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe so you never miss out on a new video and don't forget to answer the question by leaving a comment in the box you below. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook links are in the description box. If you enjoy the channel and would like to give something back, you can become a patron. If you are unable to contribute, hitting the share button to Twitter and Facebook can go a long way too. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.